Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we are fixing the tire. Um, last night I forgot about the fact that <laughs> I had that nail in the tire. Uh, decided to drive over my brother's because he wanted me to do something. Uh, of course, I blew the tire uh, on the road. I had to, had to change the tire in the dark. So we'll take a look here right quick. Um, you can see there's the spare tire. The other tire is underneath. Uh, up under here, we are going to get the jack or not the jack but the the tool to drop the tire and then we're going to take the tire in the house and we are going to reap well not take it in the house we'll take it over in the front lawn and repair it um you get the gist so let's get this tire off very quick and we'll go from there Alright, so we got the tire, we got it here, and we got it off, and let's take a look at it now, you can see right there where the hole is, I don't know if you can make it out on the camera that great, but there is a hole there, so we got the, what do you call a patch kit, right, uh, basically you can buy that at any uh, Canadian Tire, Walmart, either or, uh, just basically all it is, is these little sticky things, they, uh, Hopefully these are still good. They've been sitting in the car since last summer. <laughs> um, but they should be good. I would think they would be anyways. Uh, hopefully, if not, I'll have to go and maybe pick some, some up. And I may have to go pick some up anyways because this here one, this hole kind of looks big. So I don't know. We'll see. See what I can do. Let's get this here in there. All right, folks, so uh, I tried to use the old patch kit I had, but unfortunately, it's it's been sitting all winter in the trunk of the car, and uh, the stickiness wore out of it. You know, it just basically, it was just, it was terrible, right? It was no good. So I'm going to swing over. I got the tools. All I need is basically the little sticky string, right? And we'll, uh, we'll slap that in. So we're just going to swing over to Walmart here. Uh, I'll pick one up. Uh, they're only a couple bucks, right? Um, I know you guys are probably saying, why don't you just leave the spare on and, and do that there? But man, I, don't, I don't like uh, the look, right? You know like you know what I mean? Like I don't like the look of uh, the uh, spare tire. Ugh. Yeah, I don't, I'm sorry folks, uh, I don't like the look of the spare tire on the truck, but you know, it just, the truck's not a bad looking truck, so you want to keep it looking the same. Um, you know, like I said, I am in the process, I am going to get some new tires here. Uh, I knew I needed to get some new tires, I just wanted to wait until the winter was over, and then I'll buy a tire that, you know, will get me through the summer and the winter, and then buy another set next summer, kind of deal, right? Um, or buy one that I don't have to replace for a couple of years. Who knows? But, you know, I was, 
like I said, I was getting through the winter and then I'd get it set. Um, all right, folks, so uh, I went into Walmart and I got some stuff here. See, I just got that there. We'll throw that on the tire and hopefully it'll work this time uh, with some new stuff. And we'll be, we'll be good to go. So I'm going to head back to the house with that and uh, I'll try that out. And then we'll go and we'll put some air in it and hope it holds and I can put the tire back on. And like I was trying to say, you guys, uh, I'm sure that somebody's going to be like, well, why didn't you just, why didn't you just put tires on? Well, not everybody's got $1,000 to just throw on tires, right? Like, you know, like, I, I've been doing it so that I uh, kind of just save a little bit here, save a little bit there, and this here just uh, unfortunate situation, you know, um, just took from that, so, you know, uh, I want I wanted to do it as quick as possible as get the new tires on but you know to be honest with you thank god I didn't because that would have sucked a brand new tire and have that happen right and that's just it you know maybe that's the whole reason why I didn't uh, buy those new tires yet is because of that simple reason like you know I, I mean is that you know was that uh, bolt there for a reason or all right, so we got the tire fixed, and now we are gonna go and put some air in it and see if it holds. That'll be the next step. See if it holds. Um, you know, we got it in there, so it should be good. These things are pretty, pretty decent, so I mean, the tire is wore down. Time for new ones, but anyways, at least uh, it'll match instead of looking odd for a truck that nice. <laughs> Let's go take it and we'll get some air in it. All right, so we just got our we just got our tire pumped up right here. There's a little pump right there. Got her pumped up. Uh, it seems to be holding the air. The 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 sensor thing is not working. So unfortunately, I can't tell how much psi is going in there. So what I'm gonna have to do is uh, see it's it's the airlock, right? What has to be done is it has to be loosened up. Um, sorry, you probably can't even see. What has to be done is it has to be loosened up, the air pressure taken out so that it'll actually read the sensor again. Um, they all do that in the winter time. And then come the spring again, you have to do that. So, anyways, with that said, we got the tire, we got air in it. We'll take it back, we'll throw it on, see how it looks. Um, probably still going to have... Uh, the sensor will still be on because it's definitely not where it's supposed to be for air but we will worry about that after for now we'll get her back to the house and we will put her on
And just like that, we got her on, we got her full of air, we put the cap back on, and she's all good, folks. We are ready to rock and roll out of here. Um, that's, uh, you know, the tire will last another, another couple weeks for me, right? You know, it, it does what it does, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it lasts a little longer for me. You know, I mean, I don't expect to get another year or any of it, but another month out of it if I can um, then there you go so I don't know we'll, we'll see like I said if I have to I'll go buy uh, two tires now and put them on and then put two more on after right the only problem with doing that there is, is if you go back for that same tire they might not have it so you know that's the downfall with buying two tires and then buying another two anyways We'll see what happens. Let's get back to the house um, and we'll go from there. All right, so we got back to the house. We got the the cap back on too, right? Uh, we got the other tire underneath. Uh, we got the part of the jack back in the house. We're just gonna take this part and that's gonna be a wrap for this. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have my camera with me last night when I went to uh, my brothers so I couldn't record the fact uh, that I was doing it in the dark too probably wouldn't have been that great so anyways with that said I hope you like this here video if you did don't forget smash that like button we'll see you on the next one